Oh yeah, so what do we have today? Well, it's the B-Link GT Ultimate. And here's the box. It looks just like the GT1 box. See, this is the GT1 box. And nothing on the sides here, but the back does say the 3 gigs with the 32 gig hard drive. But first, before I open it, as always, let me take a smell. Oh yeah. Hold on. Oh man, brand new smell. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Let me pull that out. Very, very nice. So, how does it compare to the GT1? Here's the GT1. And size-wise, they're identical. As far as the uh, ports, we've got the SD cards, the USBs on the side, same exact thing. It's basically a GT1 with a 3 gig RAM and the 32 gig hard drive versus the GT where it's 2 gig RAM and 16 gig hard drive. But, you know, question is, is it worth buying for the extra money? You know, let me move this over here. So, you know, I want to take a look what's inside the box. And um, I'll move the GT1 out. That was just for the thumbnail. And um, I think it's going to be the, basically the same, just like the GT1. You know, the instruction manual, which has nothing. Then we have the power cord, which is a nice power cord. It's not one of those longer ones. It just goes right in. That's, that's nice. Let's see what else we got here. Move this a little bit more to the side. The remote, well, you know, I wouldn't suggest using this remote. Just get yourself a better remote. Look at my other videos for the remote, but it's got one of these type of remotes. We'll put that back in. I'm not going to be using that. And, of course, the short HDMI. So there you have it. It's just like the GT1. Um, right off the top, I do like this design. You know, it says Ultimate right there. It's kind of got a, um, I don't know, camouflage type of kind of look to it. But anyway, let's get on the computer. Let's see if it's even worth the extra money. And, um, all right, let's get to it. All right, here's the first boot. What's gonna happen? Is it gonna explode? Is it gonna not come up? Let's take a look. All right, so uh, looks like it's working, so I just got to set it all up. Let me set this up and I'll probably I'll get right back to you. All right, so here's the launcher, and um, let's see the most important part is the bottom navigation bar is still there. Oh yeah, it's still there. It looks just like the GT1 where you can get rid of it and bring it back up. So that means the top navigation or the top bar should be working. Yes, there it is. The notification bar is what I should say. So it looks like the standard B-Link's Light Home Launcher, but you know what? L let me talk first about this movie player, because if you don't know, or if you do know, this used to be Cody, and now they change it to movie player. You know, what is the problem with that? Is it that Europe has this Cody problem, and now China is like, oh, we can't have Cody anymore on our on our launcher. I mean, why not just have the Cody button right up here. It doesn't make sense. Let me show you what this movie player button does. You click on it and it goes to like an explorer. I mean, wh what are you supposed to do? Put your movies in? You know how much, to how many gigs is a movie? Like four gigs? So you can put like four or five of your own movies? I mean, come on. 
So stupid. Well, I'm going to be changing that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to change that. So now that this is all set up, let's see how fast this this B-Link GT Ultimate, GT1 Ultimate, how fast it boots up. I had to reset there, but I think I got it pretty good. Hope it's not too blurry. All right, about 1940-1930. All right, back to the ultimate. Well, I'm going to be using besides the mouse, which I've got the mouse hooked up. I'm going to use my old trusty old school the B-Link old school. I'm not going to use the one with the 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 ultimate remote. This is the GT1's remote that they gave me a while back. But anyway, I'm going to press the button here. Let me show you again. The one with the whoops. The one with the three lines. Oh, focus. The one the hamburger menu or the three lines, whatever you call it. I'm going to pick that. And then this comes up and um, you can change to four different backgrounds. I like the blue. So I'm just going to say okay. And now the blue background has happened. All right. Well, I haven't installed nothing on here, so let's see what they installed in the ultimate. So that is it, guys. So, besides this fishing joy, they don't have much. It's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is there's not a lot of bloatware that you have to uninstall. The bad thing is for people who don't know what to install, how to install stuff, that's not good. So it's got a media center here, which don't know. I see. Just um, some settings. All right. Let's see if there's any uh, updates right now. So your system is up to date. Wow, that's interesting. So uh, what is the number? It's got your typical settings menu. So as of this video, it's 313MO. All right. So now I want to address this stupid movie player. I'm going to change that to Cody and let me show you how it's done. I'm going to get right back to you. Okay, so we're going to change this movie player to Cody. Now, if you already have a B-Link and yours shows Cody, you need to make a backup of it. So, first thing you got to do also is you got to install, install ES File Explorer or any file explorer when you install it, make sure you sh say show hidden files. But anyway, let me show you where the light home is. It's under device, under system, under app. You go down and here's light home. You make a copy of this. Alright? So, I'm not going to do it here because I want to change it. Now, if you don't have the Cody button and yours says movie player try to go over freaktab.com and you can find it over there so I like to play it safe so I'm gonna install another launcher because I don't want to change the launchers while one is active so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Google Play Store and I just typed in TV launcher and I'm just gonna install this TV launcher so this is just temporary. Right now it says it's installing. Alright, so I'm just going to go and hit the home button. Right now I just want to do the light home. I'll just do just once for now, okay? So I'm going to change it so when you do hit the home button it's always going to go to TV launcher. So right now when I went to settings to settings there's a home button that was not there before and I'm just gonna say TV launcher and click it 
Okay, now watch when I hit the home button. Uh, to say next, 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 next. And there it is. So now every time I hit the home button, it's going to go to this. So I just want to install ES File Explorer. Alright, I'll just hit the home button. And there's ES File Explorer. I also want to do settings because I'll need to get into that. So here's the settings and there's there you go. And ES File Explorer. Okay. So what you also what you want to do next is you want to pick root explorer pick it and now you have root access so right now I have the old light home in my download I'm gonna rename it and you'll see why in a second and I'm just gonna put like a N in front of it for the new and I'd say OK so now I'm gonna pick it and I'm gonna say copy and I'm gonna go into device system app and light home and I'm gonna paste it so there's new and there's the original now the next thing you gotta do is change the permissions now if you look at the light home the original you highlight it you come here and you go to properties you'll see it's RWRR so you go change you can see that you got all the read and one write cancel, cancel that cancel that and hit the back button. Okay, so now this, the new one, I have to go into the properties. You can see how it's RWX. So I'm going to change that to that. Say OK. And hit back. And double check for me because I like to be safe. I'm going to go to properties. And there you go, RWRR. Okay. So now I'm going to change this light home and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say old. I'm going to say OK. Then the N light home, I'm going to rename that just to say light home. All right. Now I'm going to move, I'm going to cut the old and paste it into the download. I'm going to go back and you can see it's all by itself. Alright. Now I'm going to shut down. I'm just going to reboot and let's see if it works. Alright, so I'm going to go into the settings. I'm going to go into home. I'm going to pick the light home this time. Now I'm going to hit the home button. Hopefully it says Cody. And there you go. Now, as you can see, Cody is not installed. So if I hit Cody right now, nothing's going to happen. So you got to go into here, into the Google Play Store, and install Cody. I'm going to say install. Now fast forward. All right, it's installed, so I'm going to close everything. And let's go see if Cody works with the Cody, Cody, Cutie, Cody, whatever. I'm going to try to get the other Cody button on another launcher. Anyway, here we go. Click it, bam. There you go guys. So if you don't want that movie player on your home screen launcher, this is the only way to change it. Back to the Kodi and you don't have to worry. All right, let's get into some numbers and final results. I'll get back to you. All right, so here's everything I'm gonna check. Let's do a quick check on the root check. Let's get started. I'll verify if it's root. 
and it is rooted. All right, so I'll do the SD bench, and I'll get back to you with the numbers. All right, so there's the numbers. You can see the RAM does show three, 2.82, and the internal memory says 25 total. So there's the numbers. All right, so let's get to the N22, and I'll get back to you. All right, so there's the N22 number, and I'll put the GT1 standard next to all the numbers. All right, now I'm going to do the Geekbench and get back to you. So there's the Geekbench numbers. I thought it was going to be a little higher, but that's the results. So let's just take a look at some numbers here. Got the M Logic. It says B Link GT1. It doesn't say Ultimate. It does say 3 gig of RAM. It says 28 gig total memory. So If you want to take a look at any other numbers, I'm not going to go through every single one of these. Oh, I'll go back. So, so those are the numbers. I'm going to install some apps, check the boot up speed, and um, tell you my final results. B-Link Ultimate Final Conclusion. So is the Ultimate better than the Standard in the GT Series? Well, you know, if you listen to all the heavy hitters, they'll say, oh, it's not worth the money. It performs just like the GT1, and you'll never see. Well, for me, the Ultimate did perform slightly better. I added the apps, and it booted up uh, probably like 10 seconds slower than the original startup time that I showed but to me it seems like it's a little quicker peppier than the standard so in my opinion I think it's worth the money also on a side note you know these uh, Android boxes get a little warm so what I did was I purchased these little 3M feet on eBay just to raise it up let me show you what it looks like on the ultimate here see I put them at an angle because there's like little triangle feet but um, just in case your box is getting a little warm maybe you should try these feet here's the uh, GT1 standard I also put it on here and I'll have to change it to the angle because I covered up the reset hole. So, oh, I am strong wrong. There's a reset hole right there. Because I noticed on the ultimate, I would have been covering it up. Never mind. But anyway, with the feet, at least it raises it up. So, if you want a little peppier box, ultimate is a great buy. Subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.